Team Canada's female athletes are dominating in the Olympics, carving a new path in sport for young female athletes. But it appears the search for future Olympians might be quite difficult. A study by Canadian Women and Sports suggests one in four girls don't plan to return to sports after the pandemic. Girls tell us that they do face a lot of barriers. They talked about quality of sport, so really feeling as though sport hasn't been designed truly with their needs and interests in mind. And then they also talk a lot about confidence, confidence in themselves, in their body image and in their skills. And in those teen years, their confidence really plummets. Pre-pandemic, more and more girls chose to sit on the sidelines going into their teen years with a dropout rate of one in three for girls versus one in 10 for boys. We'd like to see everybody playing sports, you know, um, good for the community, good for everybody. I do think that physical health plays a really important role on mental health. So I think that like with COVID having an impact on our mental health, like getting back into sports can be really good. I mean, I think it should be equal opportunity, best person play. I loved if there is more women to come out. Canadian women and sports say only 4% of sports coverage goes to women. And that's in an Olympic year where we get a really healthy dose of it. It seems like more people are interested in watching men's sports rather than women's sports. But the Tokyo Olympics showing to be a huge moment for female athletes, winning the first 11 medals for Team Canada. Many believe this could be what it takes to inspire young girls to join a team. Well, the results out of Tokyo and the Olympics so far are such a celebration of women and sport, and they are giving us so much to be proud of. Really inspiring for young women to, you know, go after their goals and their dreams, and uh, yeah, they have like just as much chance as men too. In Edmonton, Laura Crow, City News.